thank you so much for watching. So as you can see today, I decided to do a Deepika Padukone inspired makeup look. And in terms of her makeup, she always likes to keep it really simple, but she always looks absolutely stunning. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. So first I'm going to start by moisturising using this Estee Lauder Daywear Moisturiser and I'm just going to dab that all over my face and then just use my hands to rub it in to make sure everything is moisturised. I'm then going to use my favourite Cryolan Orange Concealer and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes and that will nicely cover my dark circles. I'm then going to take the Benefit High Beam and I'm just going to apply this onto my highlighting areas before I apply my foundation and that's just going to give me a bit of a glow. So I'm just going to use the bottom end of the beauty blender and blend all of that out before I apply my foundation. For my foundation I am going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm just going to use my beauty blender to apply this all over my face. And I always make sure that I apply a little bit extra underneath my eyes to make sure that any of the orange concealer is completely covered. The next step is for my concealer and I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and for my contour I'm going to take this Versanti Concealer. So first taking the NARS I am just going to apply this into my usual concealer areas. So underneath my eyes, down my nose and then a bit on my chin. Now for my contour I'm not using the Artist of Makeup Contour Stick because I actually want a really natural and subtle contour. So I'm just taking this Versanti Concealer which is basically just a concealer but it's just in a darker shade. So applying that will give me a natural contour. So I am going to apply this in the usual contour areas and I'm going to apply a little bit underneath my lip as well. I'm then just going to take my beauty blender and blend all of this out. And I want to make sure that everything is perfectly blended in so I'm just going to take a while doing this and throw it into fast forward mode because you guys have seen me do it a million times. So once I have made sure that everything is perfectly blended I'm going to bake underneath my eyes using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I'm only going to use that underneath my eyes first and then I'm going to take this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush finish flawless powder and a huge big fluffy powdery brush and just set the rest of my face with that and that powder is absolutely amazing so I'm just going to apply that everywhere. I'm then going to take Hoola Benefit and I'm just going to use that for my contour powder and I'm just going to apply it on my cheekbones and anywhere else that I applied the Versanti concealer. Once I've done that I am going to apply some blusher and I am going to be taking a mix of these two blush shades and I'm just going to apply that onto the apples of my cheeks. For my highlight I'm going to take the Champagne Pop by Becca Cosmetics and I'm just going to apply that onto the higher points of my cheekbones and this is definitely one of my favourite highlighters so I'm just going to pack that onto the cheekbones and a little bit down my nose. Now for my eyes, I'm going to prime my eyes using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and then I'm going to take Champagne Pop again and I'm going to use that as my eyeshadow base as well. And this is actually a really really nice eyeshadow base and I don't want anything too heavy looking, I just want it to look like there's a natural glow on my eyes. So I'm just going to apply this to both of my eyes but mainly just keeping it along the base, I don't want to take it too high. For my eyeliner I am going to be using the MAC Black Track Eyeliner and I'm not going to lie this part took me absolutely ages to film because I am super slow with my eyeliner but we wanted to have a bit of a 60s wing liner here so I always work on my eyeliner incredibly slowly so I usually work from the outside of my eye towards the inside and for this look I definitely wanted to have the eyeliner thicker on the outer corner of my eye. So I usually start by drawing the wing first and then taking the eyeliner towards the inner corner of my eye. Now don't worry, if you do go wrong here you can always take a cotton bud and some eye makeup remover and you can always correct it. So I actually took a while here trying to make sure that my eyeliner wings were even but as long as you do it slowly you can definitely make it work. So I'm now going to take this brown eyeliner pencil by Rimmel and I'm just going to use that to line my lower waterline because Deepika usually has quite a natural eye look on the underneath. Once I've done that I'm just going to buff away any of the powder that I had underneath my eyes for baking. 
And I'm then going to take the Charlotte Tilbury powder again and I'm just going to use that to set underneath my eye. I'm then going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes using this Tweezermint eyelash curler because I'm not going to be applying any falsies here. For my mascara I am using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I'm just going to apply a few coats of this. Now for my lower lash line I am going to be using a mascara shield and this is just to make sure that I don't get any mascara onto my skin because I'm not going to be applying any eyeshadow underneath. So I'm just going to use that to protect that area. I'm then going to move on and do my eyebrows and I'm going to be using a mixture of the brow definer and the brow wiz. So once I've given my eyebrows a quick brush, I am going to take the brow definer first and this is what I'm going to use in order to sort of get the outline shape of my eyebrows. Now Deepika usually has quite natural and really full bushy eyebrows and I'm clearly lacking in that area so I'm going to attempt to draw them on. So first I'm going to use the brow definer and then I'm going to use the brow wiz in order to make my eyebrows look a little bit more defined. Now the last thing to do is my lips. So for my lip liner I am going to be taking the MAC Spice lip liner and just using that to outline my lips. I'm then going to first take the shade Taupe and that is also by MAC and I'm just going to apply that first onto my lips. Now that is a little bit dark so I am going to then take a nude lipstick by Cryolan and I am just going to apply that on top because Deepika usually has quite nude looking lips. Ta-da! There we go guys, that was my Deepika inspired makeup look and I hope you guys find this video really helpful if you are trying to recreate one of her makeup looks. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.